Congratulations on the birth of your new baby. This is a very exciting time for you and your family. The health of your baby is one of your greatest concerns. The Connecticut Immunization Registry and Tracking System was developed to ensure that every child in Connecticut has an accurate and permanent record of all vaccinations. This computerized vaccination record will provide you and your child with easy access to this information in the future, even if you move away from Connecticut or your baby's doctor retires. Immunizations are very important because they prevent a lot of very serious diseases uh, that were uh, very prevalent in the community until the 1940s and 50s, such as diphtheria, tetanus, swooping cough, polio, a bacterial infection called haemophilus, hepatitis B virus, and uh, varicella or chickenpox. Even though uh, the diseases don't exist in our community at this time, there's always the possibility that they could come back, especially if they're reintroduced. Uh, for instance, from a foreign country. And it's important to make sure that our kids are fully immunized so that they're resistant to those diseases. One problem that I see in my practice frequently is when children are starting a new school, many times they're not allowed to begin classes until they have proof of complete immunization. With a registry, it's much easier and quicker to get their records so that, first of all, they don't have to get extra shots in order to attend school. And second, they can attend school on the first day without running into any other problems. Another issue is that in today's very mobile society, many parents change homes and change health care providers very frequently. The problem of obtaining old records is getting more difficult for that reason. And with a centralized registry, uh, things can be easier both for health care providers and for parents who are changing. Pediatricians can help keep track of children getting their shots. Uh, many large offices do have systems that keep track of when children are due or behind for immunizations or visits. Smaller offices, however, don't, and that's what makes us really need a statewide system to track immunizations. Many times in the past, before the registry was in existence, uh, our office had to make multiple phone calls at a great cost of time and resources um, to get old records from patients' previous providers. Now it's much easier. We can dial up the registry uh, via computer and within a couple of minutes have a child's old immunization records. I work full-time and a full-time mother and a full-time worker. Then it's really, really hard for me to keep track of every appointment for both of my children. When we had the meeting at the kindergarten, at the school, is that the nurse says, I don't want to send back any children because the immunizations are not up to date. And I need the record of the immunization. I didn't have it with me. I called the, the old pediatrician and they couldn't give it to me right away. I went to the registry. I asked for them and they gave me a copy of the record of my child. Then it's really, really good. When I registered for college, before they would let me take any classes, they needed verification that I had gotten all of my shots. Now, I knew I'd gotten all of my shots, but my doctor had changed offices. He'd moved to a hospital, and they had lost my records. I found myself having to get all of my shots over again. The registry would have saved me that by having my records readily available. Records in offices are typically only kept handy for a few years after a child or an adolescent transfers out. Uh, many times uh, getting the microfilm from uh, record storage locations is difficult. And since the registry is permanent, it's possible to get immunization records many years down the road. The biggest advantage for parents is that if they lose their child shot record or forget it, uh, it can be available to any office or any school that the child attends. Parents in Connecticut, as well as in other states, have raised concerns over the confidentiality of records in the registry and have been hesitant to enroll their children because of this. In Connecticut, registry records are only available to health care providers that administer vaccinations. 
anyone else needs to get permission from the parent or guardian before records can be released. My name is Jalen Adams White and I work in the health department. I have uh, a 15 year old daughter who I've even back enrolled her immunizations for the simple fact if she should ever need to retrieve them. And I also have Jordan who is two and a half years old and he is enrolled. The registry is very confidential. When a parent chooses to enroll their child, we have them fill out a form which is considered very confidential information. And we will not release that information to no one other than the parent, the pediatrician, or another provider where the child is being seen. Parents of newborn babies are given a form to fill out when they're uh, in the nursery. And the easiest way to get a child enrolled in the registry is to fill those forms out on the spot. If a parent decides not to enroll the child for one reason or another, or if a parent moves from out of state and has a child uh, who's been born elsewhere, they can obtain enrollment forms uh, at their pediatrician's office, and the office can then forward them to the central registry. I would tell friends, families, um, new patients that the registry is important because it's a way to make sure that records are not lost and to access the records quickly and easily uh, if they need them in the future. If you want more information on this program, talk to your floor nurse or call the State of Connecticut Department of Public Health Immunization Program at 860-509-7929.